Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Megan McHale. And I'm Craig Gannon. For all of us here, we hope to see you at 6 o'clock. Right now, ABC World News Tonight. On World News Tonight this Tuesday, the first Concorde ever to crash just after takeoff from Paris. 113 people are killed, which included everyone on board. It is the world's most glamorous passenger aircraft. We'll take a closer look. What's the magic, and what will this crash mean to Concorde's future? The Middle East peace talks at Camp David collapse. What happens now? And the Republicans have a full campaign team. I believe you're looking at the next vice president of the United States. <laughs> Governor Bush reaches into the old establishment and chooses Dick Cheney. From ABC News World Headquarters in New York, this is World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. Good evening. It has been quite a day. We'll get to the Middle East peace talks and the running mate for Governor Bush. But for the first time in more than 30 years in its history, a Concorde has crashed. And that's where we start. It was an Air France Concorde chartered by a German tour company. It had just taken off from Charles de Gaulle Airport in Paris when something cataclysmic happened in at least one of the four engines. In this picture, you can see a long stream of smoke and fire as the pilot struggled to gain altitude. He failed. And when the plane crashed in the grounds of a small rural hotel in Gonesse, just outside Paris, a hundred passengers, mostly German, one American, nine crew, all French, and four people on the ground were killed. Our first report is from ABC Sheila McVicker, who is in Paris. Sheila. Peter, we're a few hundred yards from where the plane went down, a place that even at this late hour of the night continues to be crowded with firemen and investigators. The impact of the crash blackened the grounds of the small hotel on the edge of Paris. The dead lay in the fields. The plane was destroyed. The wheels could be seen a short distance from the hotel. Amateur video showed the scene soon after the crash. The hotel was in flames. There were still people inside. We couldn't do anything for them because the smoke was so thick, he says. When I broke the window, we were surrounded by flames. We had to leave. Several people were out in the fields or on the roads as the Concorde approached. I was actually traveling in a, in a taxi towards the airport to catch a plane. And uh, in the distance, we could see the Concorde aircraft beginning to uh, take off. The, one of the rear engines uh, burst into flames and the, the Concorde continued to uh, uh, take off. It never gained much altitude. French officials confirmed that almost immediately after takeoff, one of the Concorde's two left engines caught fire. Eyewitnesses said the plane turned to the left a few miles southwest of the airport. Apparently the pilot was trying to turn back or to land at one of the smaller airfields nearby. It was too late. The plane was trying to turn, he says, and it fell back down. There was already a fire, a fire on the plane. It started falling backwards. And the nose dropped and the whole plane plummeted about 200 feet into the ground. Uh, and there was a huge, huge fireball. Most of the passengers were German tourists headed for a trip on this luxury liner. A dream ship cruise, it was called, to the Caribbean and then South America. <laughs> Tonight, this small community is closed off, except for the people who live here and the investigators who are trying to learn what it was that caused the first ever crash of a Concorde. And late tonight, the French Ministry of Transport has ordered that the five remaining Concords flown by Air France be grounded until officials know what happened. Peter? Thank you, Sheila. Sheila McVicker in Paris. French investigators couldn't get right into the crash scene until several hours, in fact, because the fire apparently made it too dangerous. As usual, they'll go for the black boxes right away. It's too early to tell what caused the crash, but many people saw it, and the first thing investigators will look for is, largely because of that picture, engine failure.